What is up YouTube? So if you've been following my channel for a while, you would have probably seen my older videos on VCV rack and I went back to those and I was having a look at them and I felt that they weren't doing justice to the VCV rack software. Pretty much everything about the videos was pretty terrible. My explanations were quite poor and the overall quality of the video just wasn't as good as I kind of wanted them to be. So I decided I'm gonna remake them. So this is the remastered VCV rack series. The first episode we're gonna be dealing with getting started and how to create your very basic patches with VCV rack. If you don't know the software yet, VCV rack is a modular synthesizer environment emulation for your computer. So it works on Mac or PC. I'm gonna post a link in the description. The best thing about the software is it's absolutely free and there's such a variety of really cool modules you can add into your rack. So let's dive in and have a look at the software. So when you open up the software, there's nothing in your rack. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up a couple of interfaces, you know, how the software is interfacing with your computer and vice versa. So for, for you guys who are already familiar with VCV rack, you might want to skip this episode. This is going to go through like the very basics. So what we're going to want to do here is right click on any of this gray area and you can search in the bar at the top here, you can just search audio and add one of these modules. And this is going to be your basic inputs and outputs for your patch. And then whatever sounds we want to come out of our patch, we're gonna link up to these outputs over here. So first things first, let's create a mixer so we can control the volumes going out of our software. So let's search mixer. And there's a couple of different options we're gonna go for. The, the very simplest one, I'm gonna go for Bifaco mixer. And let's just wire up these outputs to one and two over here. And then let's add a Bifaco VCO as well. So very simply, if we connect one of these saw wave outputs to one of the mixer inputs and turn up the volume, we're gonna get audio in our speakers. But at the moment, it's just playing a single pitch. So we want to somehow control the pitch either using a sequencer or using a MIDI controller or some other way of controlling the pitch of this oscillator over here. How modular systems deal with pitch is they use a system called CV. Now the cool thing about CV is it can be used for modulation, for pitch, for pretty much any type of varying signal in your modular system. So before I get too complicated in this episode, I'm gonna pretty much save a lot of the CV stuff for another episode. But what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create a sequencer and send the CV output of the sequencer into the CV or V slash oct input of the oscillator. So we can just search SEQ and add this SEQ3 over here. So now what this does is if we connect the row output into the V oct input, we're gonna be able to change the pitch within varying steps on the sequencer over here. So let's turn up the volume and have a listen to what that sounds like. It's a little bit chaotic at this point and there's no definitive beginning and end to the sound. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna create a VCA, which we can control with what's called a gate signal. Now a gate is the other type of signal that is generally used in a modular environment. And that generally deals with triggering different elements in your environment. For me, probably the most interesting thing about a modular system is you're not limited to use gates as CVs and vice versa you can swap them around and do sorts of interesting things. You know, if you're using a square wave LFO on a CV, it can be picked up as a gate in certain modules. But again, I'm not gonna get too complicated in this episode. We're gonna save that stuff for a later episode. I'm just gonna show you how to get a VCA linked up to the gate for the sound over here. So first things first, a VCA is just the amp module. And we're gonna wanna create a sort of time variant to how that amp module is gonna react to the gate signal. And that is done either with an envelope or any other type of sort of uh, uh, formula generator. So for this instance, we're just gonna use a basic ADSR envelope. So we're gonna use the fundamental ADSR that's built into VCV rack. And then what we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to add a VCA. So the VCA that we've added, you can see it's got an input and an output. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna change this routing that we plugged straight into the mixer, plug it into the input of the VCA and the output of the VCA back into the mixer like that. So now the VCA is in line to the signal that we, we created earlier. Now we wanna send the output of this ADSR into the CV input of the VCA, and then the gate from our sequencer into the gate input of the ADSR. Now you'll see this is reacting to the steps in our sequence. And if we start changing our ADSR values, you'll see varying dynamics in the response of the sound. So let's turn the volume up and have a listen to what's going on now. So 
So now what we can do is we can start to play with the different triggers using the sequencer over here at the bottom. And you get different sort of rhythmical patterns in that synth patch that we created. Cool, so that's it for the basics of VCV Rack, how to get your first patch up and running, how to get sound out of the program and some of the basics that you need to know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you've got any ideas for me to do in this series, as always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.